Hi everyone, Flick here from Sleep Technique and I've got no Victoria with me because I am, I'm in my kitchen and um, in fact the last time I filmed in my kitchen was before I had not one but two little ones and just to the left of me there are now two high chairs um, so life has changed quite a bit since we, we shot that and I know that we talked about some of our favourite recipes um, and some of the things that we like to eat. And we're still getting lots of you ask us questions about that, about our diet and what we do day to day and what we eat and put in our mouths. So I thought I would update you a little bit on that, bearing in mind how much my life has changed since uh, we probably shot that last video. So, uh, yes, I've got two little ones, so I have a lot less time. But what having two little ones has just reaffirmed for me is... Um, what you put in your body and how important it is to put good stuff into your body. Obviously, I don't want to put rubbish, sugar, processed foods, you know, ready-made meals into their bodies. So it just reminds me not to put them in mine. Um, I'm not a nutritionist, um, but yes, I am a professional dancer and have been for many, many years. So I'm very body aware. So although I can't give you scientific advice as a nutritionist, what I can tell you is when I eat well, when I look after my body from a nutrition point of view, I definitely feel better, I definitely look better, and I definitely perform better. My body gives me more rewards back. So I thought I would give you four really quick and easy food tips, food guidance that I will eat at least two or three times a week um, that maybe you can, you can take on and, and do as well and have a bit of a flix one in your diet. You might know that I'm vegetarian, by the way. I don't know whether I've mentioned that before. Um, so I'm not vegan. Um, I do eat dairy, but I, I don't eat meat. So I have quite a lot of plant-based foods in my diet. Speaking of this little baby, here's an avocado. You all know exactly what that is. I eat tons of these. My favorite way to eat them is really simple, and I give this to my two babies as well. Um, I chop up an avocado, stick it into a bowl, squeeze of lime, a couple of big old turns of black pepper, and I enjoy putting that onto my favorite uh, carbohydrate, which is rye bread toasted. I like rye because it's dark, it's got a nice earthy feel to it, it fills me up a little bit more. One slice with a bit of avocado on is a snack, two slices with a good half an avocado is probably lunch. Um, I like the lime because it really cuts into the flavors, and of course it's really good for rehydration as well. Squeeze a bit of lime into your water after a cardio class, and you're gonna feel great. That's my first one. My second thing I like to make, I'm just gonna come into my fridge here, and I'm gonna bring out oatly milk. Like I say, I do have dairy, but I really, really love the taste of this stuff. This one is um, an organic oat drink. You can get loads of different variations, though. I get uh, porridge oats, simple, and quinoa oats. Um, some chia seeds, I stick them into a bowl. I add the oatly milk. I pop it into, sorry, so stick them in the bowl, I stick them into a pan, I turn the heat up, give it a stir, let that all cook through. Once it has, I'll grate a little bit of courgette into that. It's fibrous, it's filling, it's gonna give you extra energy. Again, all my family will eat that for breakfast. It's called supercharged porridge, and you'll find it on our full ballerina body plan as well. So that's my second thing. My third thing is a sweet treat because there's no lying, I have a sweet tooth. Um, and it is a go-to shop-bought drink by Rebel Kitchen. Um, it's chocolate flavored, but it's it, obviously it's no refined sugar in there because it's made from cacao. Um, it's a coconut based drink, so it is dairy free. And I really enjoy that. My kids don't get this yet. They're, they're still, they're not old enough to enjoy this yet. That's still mine. So that's my little uh, uh, sweet treat snack. Um, it's nice and energy giving as well. And the last thing, is uh, dinner. Um, one of my go-tos is black bean burgers. So you can find the recipe in Calgary's book actually, um, Keep It Real. Um, but essentially it's a can of black bean burg black beans popped into a bowl. You're adding onion, you're adding breadcrumbs, you're adding an egg if you wish to, but there is a vegan alternative as well. Um, and you're adding lots of herbs and spices, making them into pate shapes. I like to stick them in the fridge for half an hour so they retain their shape. She doesn't advise that, in here. she doesn't mention that in here, but there's my tip. And then you can either do them in the oven or in the pan. And that's a great, nutritious, delicious evening meal as well. Again, all my family love it. So, there you go. Four quick things for you to maybe have a go at. 
always share, like, ask me any questions and um, yeah, on email or social media. And I look forward to hopefully seeing you in a class feeling nice and energized. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.